How's it going, guys? Uh, it's been a little while. We took a little break, but we're back now. We're gonna come back strong. So, Senior's finally got his U tag open. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can't get that tag punched back here in sheep country. Looks a little bit different because they live in the desert, which isn't like a lot of big game animals around here, but they're in the dry deserts. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get it done, hopefully. You feeling good? Oh yeah, we gotta get up on this this hill here in glass. We got tons of country to glass and these sheep are in places where, I mean, it's very difficult to get to. So we'll see what we can do. I'm pretty confident though, there's a lot in this area. So let's get on. Gosh, nice. Drop them dead. All right, so Senior just glassed up the first sheep of the trip. Looks like there might be some ewes out there, so. We're gonna go ahead and make a move, see if there's ewes. It looks like from here that that one on the left might be a ewe, and there's a bunch of them in there. So they're starting to walk. We're gonna go ahead and make a move. My guess would be about a mile and a half. Let's go get these guys. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna make a move. And these guys, I mean, they're in rolling hills. When they're in rolling hills, you can yeah. creep right up on them. I think it's weird that they're in that flat stuff though. It's rare you'll see sheep in that flat. Usually they'll be up on the mountainside. I don't, I don't think it's too flat though. It looks like small rolling hills from here, but. But it's probably steep. They're probably steep. It's like a cliff right next to them, I can see. So maybe we can get up over and. Right. So we're starting our hike now. Beginning steps. I'm pretty pumped to be honest. Uh, a U hunt, a sheep hunt in general, Nelson Bighorn. This is one thing that proves that hunting is indeed conservation and shows that our conservationists are working, are doing great at their job because not too long ago these things were practically almost extinct over here in Nevada and in the deserts and stuff and their populations are thriving nowadays. Nowadays their populations are doing great, great enough to where we can even hunt the ewes. So I'm excited about this, it's not every day in my book or in our hunting experience that you get to hunt a ewe or just a bighorn in general. So. Shout out to the coyote hunters. You guys have been knocking down them coyotes, and those are what the biggest predator for you is coyotes. All the money you put towards your licenses and everything goes into helping things like our sheep, our deer, our elk, everything. Even the fish, everything gets help. So, big shout out to all you guys. So, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't punch this tag and get you on the ground. That'd be awesome. We're almost halfway. This is the mountain I want to get up in glass from. But that's that valley way over there that was uh, about a mile and a half, two miles away. I can't tell a rangefinder don't go that far, but it was far. Let's see if we can see him over there. So we glass from that mountain top and we can't see him anymore. We're thinking the angle's different. So we gotta hurry up and get down there closer before they bed somewhere. There's that red rock there behind there somewhere. We need to get elevated and be quiet. Quiet mode. This should be the last hill between us and them. We're way over here by the mountain. Let's get over that last hill over there. Almost there. All right guys, so we have a youth spotted, actually a couple of them, but there's a nice, big, healthy one, um, solid female. We're gonna go ahead and make a move. We got her. Um, we had to make sure and identify her to make sure she was a you because Endow, Nevada Department of Wildlife, they make you take a class and you have to get certified before you can come hunt them because a lot of people shoot baby rams. But uh, once you go through the class, it's pretty easy to tell them apart. Like, you know, the horn next to the eye, a male 
and if the eye is that big the male horn is literally like coming off of the eye and it's a lot wider and the u their horns about the width of the eye so and there's a couple things and then obviously you look for you know the sack <laughs> they've got one on them too believe me yeah you look for the 10 pound sack but <laughs> that's what we came for right there oh that one's a little ram no those oh no that's a belly that's nuts. a belly that look like nuts almost that's a nice view so let's let's get moving so these are about 800 yards from us. I want to cut down about 600, so preferably about 100, 200 yard shot, but good to 300, so we'll see what happens. They're right next to this ridge, and the wind is absolutely perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and make a play, and uh, yeah, this should hopefully work out. If I see it, I can squeeze, but I want a 200 yard shot. nice dropped it dropped them dead it collapsed oh yeah yeah that's down. we got it Woo! nice dropped them dead in his tracks but try to find that ram in the footage holy cow yeah they they were all up there bedded and then all they had to do was stand up. Oh, there's a bunch of rounds back there. Yes, sir. <laughs> Another pump right there. <laughs> that was a long time waiting right there. It took him forever to stand up. Look how far you got some from. I'm talking pretty much the base of that mountain way down there. We'll have to measure that out, but that's probably two miles, I guess. Holy cow. <laughs> Rifle put in work right there. All right, man, we got her done. We got her done. 260 yards, something like that, 262, something, but it dropped it, beautiful. So we're walking up on it right now. Hopefully this mic's working because there's a lot of wind out here, but dropped it dead in its tracks. It's not that, that often that you do that. I'm gonna get her mounted and I'm just happy for the harvest and I'm glad the animal didn't suffer. There she is right there. Nice view. Wow, this thing bled a lot, so. So you can ask for clean ethical kill. Yeah, check out the cactus that this you this was, was eating. There was about three or four of them right around. I couldn't get a shot, so I had to move to higher ground because this you was just tearing up that cactus right there. They were all right here on this, the side of this hill. They can see a long ways. New rifle putting in work. Yep. All right, guys, thanks for coming on this hunt with us. We appreciate you guys, um, all of you that have watched the channel since we've been rabbit hunting when he was 13 years old all the way till now. We got some loyal fans and we really appreciate you guys. But this this hunt was something special. You know, even though it's a you, they, they're pretty difficult to find. They're up here in these mountaintops. And like I said, they're on the edge. They go up the cliffs. And it's pretty ridiculous how, how they go up these cliffs. They're amazing animals. Um, 
it's an honor to be able to harvest one like this very nice they're actually pretty light this thing seems yeah they're not heavy at it's all it's only like 95 pounds i would say 100 yeah. pounds yeah so we appreciate one rate gear we appreciate vortex i mean we're running vortex scopes um the spotting scopes but we both got the binos i mean everything vortex we're running tripods we spotted that uh this you senior spotted them with that vortex viper spotting scope about a little over two miles we'd say away so it makes a difference i mean it really does help yeah so so i mean just like everybody else when I, when i first got into hunting I, I was using stuff that you know you think oh it's a hundred bucks that's a lot or whatever for a scope but you know why the, the other ones are expensive because they are just amazing the clarity and everything it, it's mm -hmm. it's like going from a flip phone to the the iphone x so yeah. pretty amazing vortex appreciate everything like i said a one rate um hunter's hall oh yeah and last but not least phone scope phone scope is a real deal i mean adrian was had the phone scope attached to that uh, vortex scope and it was zoomed in and once again just like i did him on his coyote hunt he got me back because it was zoomed in i mean this u was on the whole the whole little scope and when i shot it and it dropped i was thinking we got the best footage ever we went back to look at it and it wasn't recording yeah, again. <laughs> yeah, yeah i didn't press record but but it did take on, long yeah i got it on that camera though i just i didn't have a recording because they were sitting there for like 30 minutes and you can't have your phone sitting there recording for 30 minutes. Yeah, it'll overheat, so. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, appreciate you guys watching. Um, we're going to get back in the, into the rhythm of things. We took a little break. Some issues with YouTube, you know, algorithm changes. There's a lot of things going on with kids' channels that, that you've seen. And because he started filming at a really young age, we're kind of dealing with some of that. But we're not stopping. We'll, as long as we're out here hunting and fishing, we'll, we'll bring a camera out and... and yeah. We're not really worried about anything else. Yeah. Awesome, awesome hunt. Like you said, it's a special hunt. This is the first one of his hunts I've actually been able to actually actively be a part of. So it's special for both of us. And all right, guys. We got done cleaning this animal. It's all quartered up. Back straps, tenderloins, everything is in this backpack. And to be quite honest, it's, it's not that heavy. I, I'd say about 60 pounds, maybe 70. Um, I gotta go about two miles. That's the whole animal too. Yeah, it's the whole animal. I gotta go about two miles. I should be able to make it. I mean, I, I have some back pain every once in a while, but I was in the army, man. That's what we do. We road march with heavy weight. And I'm over here with all the awkward stuff. We didn't bring two backpacks once again. We, we gotta start bringing more backpacks, but I'm over here with all the weird stuff with my neck all kinked and junk, but it's all good. Good hunt. I'm gonna put this camera away and get to going. We got it done, guys. Early morning, glassed up some ewes, some rams snuck in on them. Check it out. Got it done. Let's go. I can see the truck six hours later and about five miles, six miles. Holy smokes. I still got the weight though. That's good. I'm able to finish this. We survived. Yeah. All right. We're going to get this guy and all the meat into the canyon cooler. The ice is nice and nice and perfect still. These coolers are awesome. Appreciate everything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors. See you outdoors. <laughs>